Welcome back to Night of the Dead. It is wave 91 and I've left it a little bit late getting back to my base. We are at the blue base today. I just need to quickly jump up, jump over here, come up here. Now we're ready for the horn. <laughs> so I, I was out uh, resource gathering. There it is. I'm going to eat that. Not really sure. I do have some sticks over here. Well, I don't even know what I have on me. Okay, so I've got lots of sticks. I've got fuel. We're all good. I got lots of fuel in there too. Okay, well, I'll just take this back with me then. Um, I got lots of food. I don't think I have much other resources. I think I've kind of really pulled them over to the other base. Yeah. Okay. And the wave is starting. And Yushi comes in from over here. Let's eat the steak platter. Let's combine things where we can. Um, just wanted to try something here. If I switch to my flamethrower, see how it shows in the bottom right hand corner all of the fuel that I have? However, I think if I go in, I still have fuel left over. Um, so basically, if you have all of your fuel in one stack, all of it will go into to be used by the flamethrower. Um, whatever the stack is. And I, 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 what are they stacking? 500, I think, in terms of fuel? So if you have one stack of 500, it'll all go in and you will not have access it for anything else. So if you want to have a certain amount of fuel um, for your flamethrowers as well as your handheld flamethrower, then you need to divide it into different stacks. Uh, kind of like when you've got your bow or your crossbow, you have multiple stacks of arrows, only one or ammunition for your guns only one is actually being used at a time. Did I not reload these? Or not? It appears I may not have reloaded all of these. Or something decided to come up in here. Being a little bit confused. Whoa! Oh, we didn't take long for those to go, right? Okay, let's see where it goes. I will admit, I wasn't, I'm not really fully prepared for this. Obviously, just running across. Um, oh, look at this nice little wave coming in. Let's just play with a little bit of fuel. There we go. Yay! Fire is good. This is a wee bit more intense. Oh, that butcher, even with all that fuel, still made it that far into the base. There's the first exploder. I think just ran through there like it. 
Didn't even get cut. Wow, he made it all the way to there. Okay, I think the zombies may have ramped up for wave 91. Because it's been a long time since a zombie got to this spot in my base. Direction? No. What's coming from this direction? Still a good way, I think. That one's still not working, but that's the least thing now. And that one's not working, which is not good either. Floater coming up again. Cool. Nice to see the explosion. So because some of these traps are not working, it's critical that I keep the ones loaded up that are. Good, this one's working again. Nice. This one up here working? Still not working. Okay. Still coming in from there. Good. them up a bit. What's the damage on this one? 92. Okay, it's not bad. Good, yay, it's working again. Ah, 
I think this might be a big push to the end of the way. That's kind of cool. Okay, so where is this at? Repair it. Okay, that one up. A lot of zombies coming in from that way now too. Nice. So 2 a.m. is kicked over. Don't see any big guys coming in yet. So let's just do this. Let's just keep control of it. Get a little bit in at a time. See a massive wave coming. Not coming from there. I'm gonna do this. Because I want to get back and take a look at what's going on. Here. That, that needs to be filled, that needs to be filled, that needs to be filled. Some coming in, I just don't know from where. Oh, <coughs> well, the butcher didn't quite make it. Music still playing. Oh darn it. It's gonna waste some of my branches. Okay, well that did seem to be like it was a little bit more intense. I mean there was some heavy parts to that wave. One made it to there, none made it to here. Um, yeah. Okay, well, that's a little bit light. I mean, it's not even, it's just after two and we're done. 
So let's just run through this. Again, anybody who hasn't really seen the basis, this is my U-turn. There are three in here, along with two there. Now, if these start looking like they're getting low, I can run down here and, and uh, fill them up if it gets to that. So far, that's been used once, I think, if that. Uh, this trap doesn't really get used. These ones barely get used. That one, you know, just one time. This that got used once. Guillotine over there once. That really is where I want to be when there's zombies coming through. Is that just a late one? So again, if you take a look, they're taking a little bit of damage. I did repair it. Only 14 made it to here. And you can see quite a few died in this location. Oh, and since I put up basically these blast walls, I haven't had any issues over there. The only reason I left them open is because I was trying to allow zombies to fall out and maybe path back around. I have to keep these ones closed because I need the support from them. Um, so that was 67. That meant 33 made it to this floor station. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it really wasn't all that much heavier. So this is the only place where they can actually fall out. And but for anybody interested, this is my setup for the flamethrower. I have that platform back there one higher so by one higher if you hit um, E when you're placing it'll raise it so once you get it level with the one that's there uh, any of the other ones around it hit E once and raise it up. And if you can't because it's already at full height, then put it on a second platform and drop it down as low as you can. And you'd be good. So there we go. There's wave 91 in the books. We will be at the red base for 92. And again, leave me a comment, let me know, you know, which do you think is the better best base or which is your favorite one of the two and uh, yeah and I will see you at wave 92 thank you for watching thank you for your subscriptions and thank you for your likes cheers <laughs>